Hey guys, this is Sam, and welcome back to Minecraft Beta. So, a lot of stuff has happened since the last time I recorded here. For example, this giant walkway has been completed. It took a long time. It's been two days since the last video got public that I'm recording this, and uh, I finished this area. There's a lot of sand out here, dug that out to make a river and I did all these walkways there are some stairs around it and then I terraformed this entire area it was awful so <laughs> it took so long eight nine hours it took a lot longer than I think it should but so much terraforming was done these trees are floating these things were originally on the ground it went all the way through here and it went all the way up to there just straight across so I've just plowed my way through this it was awful but the worst part of it was this terraforming <laughs> all this terraforming was was uh, me destroying thousands of blocks of dirt and then putting them back in different places and uh, that was awful I want you guys to see how ridiculous it looks inside of this by the way Oh, this is a natural formation. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, there's a lot of natural formations in here that I uh, based it off of. Uh, it's gotta be here. Yeah, check this out. I feel like there's gonna be mobs in here, but I tried lighting it up. The amount of just... Oh, <laughs> this is awful. But yeah, uh, I now have a cave underneath my <laughs> my hill. Don't know what to do with it yet. I didn't want to fill it in because dirt's pretty useful. But yeah, I I did so much. It was a task, that's for sure. There are a couple other smaller things I did though that are pretty interesting. For example, I made the house look fancy. Fancier, I guess. I was unhappy with uh, the shape of the, the roof, so I made it look a bit more gradual. So... I think it I think it turned out pretty decently. If you see this, it goes Honestly, I was kind of unhappy with it and then randomly the next day I came on and I thought, "You know what? This house looks pretty good." I changed the shape of the windows cuz the roof was I moved it down and then moved everything across. I still don't know what to put under here, but I'm not putting fences under there. I moved the uh, the chimney out so it uh, looks better. Then in the inside, I changed up the uh, the the roof. Technically, the trusses should be a lot more pronounced, especially in roofs this big. But I don't care. Um, what else happened? Oh yeah, I built a uh, waterfall over here, next to the mine. I was just really bored, and I just thought it'd be fun. And uh, yeah, so. What I want to do is just finish up this area, because I've been hit with a tidal wave of uh, inspiration for building houses and things. So, <laughs> I want to get a windmill done this episode, get a miner's building done this episode. I might move the mill over there, and no lighthouse will be up here, because it, it's impractical. I uh, explored the- move the- I, <laughs> I explored the area. And I'm going to be putting the city over here in a castle, but I did some uh, thinking. So, watchtower there. I got to connect these two areas, so I'm going to put another bridge over there. But that means no no ships can go into a harbor back there. So, I'm putting the harbor right here, and there's a tiny island just past that little piece of land. Perfect for putting a lighthouse on, so I'm going to be doing that. There's also some insane structures back there. I'll get into it eventually. But there's one other little area that I want to uh, want to build in in this area, and uh, it was kind of inspiring. So first of all, I'm getting insecure with house design. Trust me, I'm a good builder. It's just been years since I tried doing something. Plus, this is the first time I'm playing beta, okay? So I'm trying to get used to all the weird blocks in this version, <laughs> or the, the blocks that uh, are not normally used for buildings, trying to be creative with it. But this area here, I want to put a tiny little village here. Just a cute little thing of five houses or something in this little estuary bay area. 
because I like how these uh, hills are surrounding the place. And I think it'd be kind of cool to nestle some houses in between it. And one more tedious task I might do is uh, take this and then extend it out into a small river that links up with the river back here. Because I just think it it look pretty good. So it stops here. I've been actually... Oh shit, my shovel broke. Uh, so uh, I've been mining gravel over here to make paths and things. And uh, I might extend this lake area into here. And this shortly links up with the pathway I made around the, the farm, where the hill is, just to give you a sense of perspective. So it goes around there. There's this piece of land here, and then it, it wraps around. So I want to turn that into a river, and then build a small village along the river and into that bay. And I kind of want it to be my first proper village. I don't want to jump straight into doing the city because I want to experiment with how it's designed and I want to start small before I uh, bite off more than I can chew, if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to uh, go crazy. I just want I just want to give myself something to do um, that isn't crazy. And I've been losing my mind. I've been doing so much boring stuff. After getting that walkway in the hill done, I was just bored and I just started wandering the area to start planning stuff out. And I'm going to be honest, some plans have been made. And I'm really excited to see where the place goes. So I want to do this in episode 3. Put a village here. But before that, I need to build my windmill. Because that's something I've been thinking about. Shut the fuck up, Cave Sound. There's a, there's a lot of stuff I've been thinking about. And uh, I'm just curious on... Uh, getting it done and I don't really know how to do it yet um it's just uh crazy I need to get rid of these trees too I kept them floating partially because I wanted you guys to see them and partially just because I got lazy the amount of dirt I dug wait real quick I gotta show you my uh my uh blocks dirt I broke more dirt than stone you know you break a lot of stone when you're mining 6.5k 8.2k dirt was broken. I'm telling you, it was exhausting. And then uh, the amount of uh, tools I went through. My shovel mined out more dirt than anything I mined with my pickaxe. So I'm just telling you, this was a big project. <laughs> took a lot longer than it should have. But anyway, in this episode, I want to get a windmill done. And uh, throw some stuff together. Get a few things done. And uh, my my two priorities, windmill, mining building. That's re really what I want to do. <laughs> and uh, I might dig a river, and then that'll probably be this episode. But anyway, uh, I put this pillar here originally just to uh, signify where I wanted the top of the, the hill to be when I was mining it. This is actually a naturally formed hill that I just built a bigger hill around. <laughs> this isn't the center, but I want to... It's a roughly circular shape. I will, I'll keep this area open for, uh, I don't know, putting some random stuff. But this main area, windmill. And it's uh, in honor of my Dutch heritage, if you guys don't know. Half of my family's Dutch. So I want to uh, build a uh, Dutch-style windmill. Put a little flag on top of it. And uh, I think that'll be good. The only issue is I don't know where to face it. Because I think facing it this way would be... Would be cool to see from this part of the city. I'm going to be building a nice cathedral there. A big one towering over the city. I, I'm I'm so inspired to get this stuff done. There's so many ideas I have. I haven't had this many ideas playing Minecraft since 2019. No, since early 2020. Early uh, quarantine. My friends and I had a server that we played on. And I got so much stuff done on it. It was insane. And I am so surprised that Beta inspired me so much. But anyway, uh, I kind of want to face it this way. The house will be in the way, but it'll be easier to see from that part of the city. But if I do it this way, it'll look nicer with this landscape. So I don't know what to do yet, but I just might face it this way. Just because I can. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm going to sleep and then cut. And then I'm going to see... I'm going to get back to you guys with some progress I do on this this area.
So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright everyone, the exterior of the windmill has been done, and I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's it's very accurate to how they usually look. It might not look the best, but come on, it's Minecraft beta. But anyway, so I had four tabs open on Google while making this. I had one with the exterior of windmills, one with the interior, one with a diagram of the inner mechanisms, and one video of some dude showing off his windmill, <laughs> which very helpful. I haven't done the interior of it yet, I just wanted to show you the progress that I made. It's the next day, and it probably took me about 3-4 hours to get all the materials and smelt up my stone and, and get glass and the, the bricks. To get all the materials and build this thing probably took 3 or 4 hours. And it turned out really well. There's the, uh, the turbine or whatever, which it, it looks a little asymmetrical, but it isn't. Every one of these is 14 blocks or long or uh, 7 sets of those 2 blocks put together. And it turned out really nicely. It was kind of annoying doing the, uh, the fences. This was a breeze. But these 2 were so hard to do because in, in this version of Minecraft you have to put a block under the fence when you place it. So I just had to build up a second uh, line of dirt and throw all this up and then I had to break that then go back break the scaffolding and then go down <laughs> it was annoying to do but anyway um, the logic I had while building this is uh, the wind comes from here and the way windmills work is that the the heavy part of each arm is the one that gets pushed by the wind and this is like the stuff that catches the wind and puts it into the thing so that's how it works and so it would uh, turn counterclockwise. And by that logic, since the wind's coming from here and going this way, that's why the flag's also going that way. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And of course, uh, many windmills have a brick foundation that's very, very small. That's why it's only two blocks tall. And then there's a giant roof made out of shingles. And I tried to get that with the stone. It's pretty much the best I can make it in beta Minecraft, and it's getting dark, so I'm going to go down to take a closer look, and go to bed. So, we're at the bottom of the windmill. It looks a little weirder up close, and that's partially because of this, but that's how they look. It's just hard to get that look in Minecraft. But anyway, I added some windows across here. This window's larger, because it just gets a better view, and uh, it's the one that allows you to look at the, the rotation of the, the turbine. Each one of them fitted out with some shutters, and it's looking pretty nice up front. You might be wondering why the these things are so ginormous, and that's how they look in real life. And plus, uh, heavier it is, it, the more powerful it is with the, the mill on the inside, which is pretty cool. Some of you guys might be wondering, why did you put the entrance on the side and not in the, the front with the turbine? Isn't that the front of the windmill? And to that, I say, no, you idiot. Imagine being the, the guy who owns the windmill and you want to go inside to check out how the mill's working while the, the, the turbine is spinning. Well, either you're going to have to play Frogger to avoid this turbine, or if you're clumsy enough, you're going to get donked by one of the arms, and it's going to be awful. So, yeah. And pretty much every windmill has a door on the side. You're <laughs> if there's a windmill with a, with a door in the front with this thing that pretty much goes down to the ground... That's just an idiot design. But anyway, inside of here, I built the spiral staircase while I was building up the, the walls and the roof. And I'm going to go up and showcase it to you. I'm probably not going to put a spiral staircase in here in the end, and that's just because that's not what they look like. They just have small straight staircases between floors. And I'm going to work on that myself. I still got my diagram open. Whoa. Still got my diagram open, so... I've been working on it. So that middle block there is where the, the main axle for the turbine is going to go. It's going to continue in here. It's going to connect to a gear that's perpendicular to the ground. And under this floor, I'm going to put a floor here. There's going to be one that's parallel to the ground that it connects to, which is going to be attached to this giant pole in the middle. And then down there, there's going to be a big ass gear. And then I'm going to connect it up to, to a lot of different mill sections. Shut the fuck up, cave sound! But anyway, um, that's the main idea I have for the mechanism. So yeah. And if you're wondering what all this wood is, that's just scaffolding that I used to, uh, to shape the roof before I built it. 
I'll get rid of it. But anyway, uh, that's the progress I've got right now. I'll get back to you later when the interior is done. All right, guys, the interior has been completed, and it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> it's so hard to make these interiors in beta. I'm going to start at the top because it all starts in one place, and it's kind of distributed throughout the building. So this is the axle from the, from the turbine that goes all the way through. And here's a gear connected to it yeah i know it's just blocks but i don't care there's the other gear that connects to Ooh. and uh this is the giant shaft in the middle that all the gears go on so i left a floor here if anyone needed to do repairs on that so it goes down and here's the big ass gear in the oh i need to stop falling here's the big ass gear in the middle and there's one a uh, little doodad sticking out with a small shaft with a tiny gear connected to the big one and this is the millstone where you put put uh, seeds or whatever and it uh, spins around and grinds it up and this is a little i don't know what you call it it's a little thing that you pour the stuff into the millstone so it gets grinded i added a couple things i added a chest a couple fern eye <laughs> fern eye <laughs> a couple furnaces a desk and yeah, there's a little platform for people to get up here. And then there's a crafting table at the front. And I think I did a decent job with it. I mean, it's beta, so it's really hard to fit things in. I kind of wanted to distribute things throughout each floor. Maybe put stuff here, but it's just too small. So, uh, yeah. But I think it turned out pretty well. And I'm pretty proud of what I managed to do here. So yeah, the windmill's been done, so what we gotta do now is build a building around the mine, because that's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, so let's get to it. Alright, now that we have the windmill done, what I want to do is build something around the mine to cover up the entrance. These wolves are just chilling right now. Keep following me everywhere for some reason. Maybe they like me. I don't have any bones on me, though. But anyway, uh... Yeah, I dug out a small area just cause, uh, just to keep it a little lower on the same level as this. And I saw this piece of art online, and I thought I would try to replicate that in Minecraft. So, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get it going. And, uh, I always keep saying, I'm gonna build this, and then I cut, and then, <laughs> and then I come back, and the entire thing's finished. So, I thought what I'd do is I'd, I'd do a little bit of building with you guys, so you can kind of see how I, how I do the process myself. And, to be honest, it's kind of boring. <laughs> it, it's, it's a pretty boring process, to be completely honest with you, because it's, it's just whatever. I do the foundation, I start building it up, I do the overall shape, fill it out, and then add details, and then that's pretty much it. It's, it's how, it's every builder's philosophy. But yeah, I want to keep this tree here because it, it, it's a natural spawning tree that I didn't do anything to. I just built the, the cobble for the waterfall around it. I think it fits pretty well, but I'll have to shave some leaves off to put a column here. And uh, there will be a few cuts here, and that's just because I'm going to keep tabbing out to uh, look, at, look at the picture on Google Images. Because I have a single monitor. If I had double monitors, I'd be looking at the image on my other screen. But I can't do that right now. So, I apologize if, about the cuts. It's not just me taking breaks or whatever over and over again. Don't worry about it. But anyway, uh, let's get into it. Alright, so, uh, let's get started. So what I want to do is build, a, build this building from this concept art in front of the mine, and there, this part's gonna extend out the back, but also kind of be the same building. Sounds weird, but <laughs> let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna put a support here, support here, and a support where this crafting table is, if this thing will break. So let's do that, and then let's do one here. I might extend this out just because I can. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's make it a, a square. <laughs> I think making it a square will be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, like this. And then we'll just do a square. Same dimensions as the rest of the build. Because I think that could work pretty well. And uh, 
what this build wanted to do was I think something goes out here and then this canopy type of thing goes over the front of it like this I might uh, get rid of this and throw some dirt down look at me I'm the greatest terraformer history has ever seen ever look at that <laughs> look at that I'm, I'm a god but uh, what I'm gonna do is put some cobble the base is made out of cobble, and what's really cool is that it connects it to a fireplace here. Basically, I'm doing a blacksmith because, you know, mine, they go down in the mine, they get their metals, and they go up here and sell those metals, and sometimes convert those into tools and stuff. That's the idea. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but I was going to, and now I did. So, I don't really know how to connect it to the back. I just might build some walls and then and then put a thing here and then entrance. Nah, that's going to be off center. I'm stupid. <laughs> and I'm not pushing it this way and I'm not pushing it this way. I might just uh ignore the <laughs> the mathematical integrity of the, the the foundation and just open and just keep it like this. I mean, what I could do is take this rail shaft and just shift it over one block. Hell no, I'm not doing that. But, uh, yeah. So, oh yeah, uh, I gotta do something here to signify a door. And each of, yeah, each floor will be like three blocks tall and then, uh, thingy. <laughs> I've never built on a camera like this before. Or I never actively took someone through the designing process. It's kind of nerve-wracking, because I feel like I'm just going to screw it up. I'm going to say, man, I fucked up the, the build. I'll be back to you in a second. Then I cut, and then the build looks completely different. <laughs> That's how I am, dude. I'm such an indecisive dude. I want to put a window here, because I think it'll look pretty cool. There's also an upstairs of this building, which I kind of want to put here, because there will be a fireplace here, wall. So it will give us a good opportunity to put the entrance of the staircase so we're blocking this bit off might uh, put a window here though because I think it'll work pretty well and uh, I don't really know how to get started with this fireplace I think we'll just go out in the front like this keep in mind that this is just a rough area I might just cut out the corners I'll probably just throw slabs over there I think it works. These motherfuckers are out killing sheep like it's fucking, like, for fucking breakfast. Having fun? Nah, he looks embarrassed now. I apologize for interrupting you. <laughs> I'll probably build these up to signify what I'm doing. And, uh... Alright, cool. And then we'll find a way to block this thing off. I might kind of make it go inside, because it'll... Uh, depthify everything. I'm just coming up with words right now. It's about to get dark. Shit. <laughs> um. Dude, am I satisfied with this? Good enough room in front, but it blocks off inside. When I go to the nether, I kind of want to add uh, nether rack here. I don't know for sure. I don't know. We'll fit. I, I, <laughs> this uh this. Uh, oven chimney thing will be be fiddled around with in the future I'll, I'll tell you that for sure but as for the rest of the build it's looking pretty good so far all right also looking at the picture there's another pole here that uh, supports this weird angular roof thing going up like that and uh, yeah it's going pretty well so far you like my build so far dude no I probably doesn't like it I gotta go to bed. Oh. Classic mouse spam. Just let me sleep, dude, please. It's not that hard, isn't it? Come on. Finally, dude. Alright, cool. Let's go back. And uh, let's reference the image again. So as for the second floor of this build, there's this bit that hangs out this uh, thing. And then there's a small overhang. So what I'll probably do is put blocks here. I'm either doing this or planks, but I think this will signify more structural importance. 
And even though it's kind of expensive in the wood department, I'll probably just do this. It, it looks nice, okay? I don't care. I'll probably put one there. I don't know. Yeah, that looks ridiculous. Ah! No. Ah! Ah! I'm a murderer. I'm a heartless killer. Oh, shit. Dude, I was gonna die if I didn't do that. Would you rather die or risk killing a dog? That's better than the trolley problem. They should be teaching that in psychology class. So, as for the rest of the build, what I'm thinking is... Uh, this will be the floor differ differentiator. <laughs> uh, just throw this thing along. It'll, uh signify where the floor of this, the next floor will go and it'll be on the same level as these uh, logs then over here uh, I don't know if I want to bring it out one more block I might just keep it as is I need to see if it's uh, enough shape change alright what I'm probably gonna do is actually bring these things out look more at the design and start planning ahead a tiny bit and uh, the way I kind of want to go with it, the way I want to go with the design, it's going to be wiggled around a tiny bit. I think it'll work. Um, I just sometimes I've got this weird feeling that it won't. I'll probably just use oak planks as the floor and then have them as an overlying thing. I think that'll work. Can you move? You're the most dude. I've I've dealt with creepers less annoying with than you. <laughs> oh no, this is where it gets hard again. Okay, so there's a roof that goes over here, but I might change my mind later. I'm such a schizophrenic builder, I don't know how to do this. But, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a long episode if I keep going like this, but hey, we planned out the first uh, floor, exterior-wise at least. I might just get back to you later. And hopefully you kind of have a rough idea of what I'm doing. Hey, at least you got to see a little bit of me building. I'll get back to you in a minute. Alright guys, the blacksmith is pretty much complete. At least it's complete on the outside. Not completely on the inside. These two floors are vacant, but... I think it looks pretty good. I've been experimenting with detail. You know, throwing note blocks over the... I should have put one behind that trap door. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, I think... I've been experimenting with random blocks. Note blocks, for example. So, I've been throwing them around. I'm kind of conflicted with this choice here, but I really like how that part looks. I'm a big fan of that. I also added some flowers. I added ladders here for some reason, don't know why. And uh, yeah, I also I had a spare ladder so I just threw it over there. And uh, anyway, uh, I also threw in this small path that goes straight in and i added this i was gonna build an anvil out of stone slabs but then it would have been two blocks tall which would have been impractical so i just made them into a little table thing and uh yeah <laughs> now going inside actually no the bottom floor is vacant too damn i gotta work on this i'll probably do it in a future episode though because i'm getting tired but yeah, um, I, I added some truss-looking things. I didn't want to build anything in the middle, because that's kind of a waste of wood, but... <laughs> but yeah, I think it's looking good up here. I do have to add these note blocks to the other side, but it's been a big episode already. I don't... I, I want to end now. I threw a bed there. And then this is the entrance to the mine. And I'll probably pretty this up next episode, too. I don't know exactly what to do for the third episode, but I might do that thing where I build that little town on the other end of this hill. Just because, I'm gonna be honest, I had a lot of fun building this house. And it worked out pretty well. Shut the fuck up, cow! But anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun with the, the detail work on here. It was a lot of- Shut up! It was a lot of fun to uh, build this thing. And there are some things that are a little- iffy about it you know some those details there the roof looks kind of strange but 
there's something oddly satisfying about the build as well that I cannot put my finger on. Something about it seems so cozy, and maybe that comes down to the details, but at the same time, it just feels right. When I said I was a decent builder, ignore that house, that monstrosity. This house is where it's at, I'm telling you. This is the standard you guys should look forward to, at the very least. Um, where's that fucking sham episode been? It's been a while since you uploaded. Well, it's because I'm doing stuff like this. I'm trying, okay? And I'm gonna try to get this video out on Friday instead of Saturday, because <laughs> this episode's pretty much done. Anyway, uh... I'm pretty satisfied with it, and I think it went well, and this and the windmill are two builds that I, I put a decent amount of work into, and I think they turned out well. I'm just more motivated than ever to build in this world. It's been so much fun. I guess I'll see you next video, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more good work done on this world, so yeah. And of course, you've got any constructive criticism, if you want to tell me to fucking die, you can. You can also subscribe, like the video if you want. Of course you don't have to though, because, I don't know, it's, it's your decision. <laughs> anyway, shut up, you cows have been so annoying. But anyway, oh shit, it's getting dark. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye.